the Flower Adornment Sutra, Chapter 39. Now, the Flower Adornment Sutra is the Avatamsaka Sutra. So, this is just a translation of the name. So, this is actually a copy, my copy that I just got this over this past year, of this work that I have printed out here. And I'll, and I'll read them in conjunction with each other. This has a little bit of commentary, not much. And um, it just kind of helps you to work into Chapter 39 of the Avatamsaka Sutra. So I, I kind of look at those in conjunction with each other. Um, it's it, it uh, Like I said, the Avatamsaka Sutra will just blow your mind. Thoughts Without a Thinker. This is Mark Epstein's work that is, uh, is completely wonderful. It is psychotherapy from a Buddhist perspective. This is, uh, you know, just thinking about psychological work from, from the perspective of Buddhists. The Kali Chakra Tantra. Uh, Kali Chakra is the Wheel of Time. A lot of uh, Buddhists, they use mandalas as, 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 uh, as tools for their faith. And the Kali Chakra mandala is, 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 is awesome and huge. There's an inside, there's the whole thing, if you can see some of that. And then there's just pictures that is more detailed of different, there's the center this is one of the gates on, on one of the sides. And the, the, the mandala is a 2D representation of a third, three, 3D um, palace, uh, basically a, a, a heaven. And so it, it's used for meditation. There's all kinds of Buddhists and, and, and bodhisattvas and Buddhas around in that. The Perfection of Wisdom, this is a collection of different uh, wisdom texts. The Perfection of Wisdom is the, vaj uh, is the Prajna Paramita. Um, and the Prajna Paramita literature, there's, a, there, there's quite a few texts of sutras that are part of Prajna Paramita literature. So, that's just a collection of, of, some, of the, some of the points uh, pulled out from different sutras in that in that in that tradition Shambhala sacred path of the warrior the essential Chongam Tungpa now this is a, a Buddhist monk that is a, of, a, of a modern Buddhist monk this is just a collection of some of his teachings very very much more accessible than some of the older stuff he's made it he's he's part of our our time frame the Buddhist Tantras more um more this is called a light on um, Indo-Tibetan esotericism. So this is just kind of a way to work into tantra practice. Tantra is 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 tough because there's a it's it's basically symbology used to uh, further the the consciousness of the student. So um, it, it's a great work, and, and when I when I was working into Tantra, you know, I just kind of got, got, got whatever I could get to help me work into it. Now we have a whole set of books that are based on um, Risho Kosikai, uh, the Threefold Lotus Sutra here, and uh, SGI is the group that put out a lot of these, and the, the monk that started that tradition is Nichiren Dayashonin. And so we have major works of Nichiren Daishonin, a volume one and volume two there, selected writings of Nichiren there, and then there's these three, these two works here are different leaders that that were fundamental. Invisible eyelashes, um, cultivating the Buddhist heart. This is uh, by Nich Nichi Kyo Naiwano. Now he's he he was fundamental in establishing SGI as a, as a Buddhist school. The Wisdom of the Lotus Sutra, these, I have the first four volumes here. This is a dialogue between four, and Aikida is in there, and they, they are, uh, it's a dialogue where they are just talking out points and talking about the White Lotus Sutra, and it's expounding on uh, different, different parts of it. The Yoga of Power, Tantra Unveiled, The Wheel of Time, Sand Mandala. Now this is a, a whole book on 
um, the Kali Chakra Tantra, again, right here. So, um, and then Tibetan Mandala, a, a giant work, I'm not going to pull it out. It is another a big work on the Kali Chakra Tantra. So I have a, quite a few works that'll, that'll help us get into the Kali Chakra a bit, some visual, and then we'll go down to this um, almost down to the, the bottom shelf. We're going to go to the second to bottom shelf. Now, now we're away from Buddhism, but, but, but not, not, maybe not 100%. Leaves of Gold, this is a collection of, it's kind of a, uh, laid out like um, an, an encyclopedia of, of poetry. Now, and, there, and it's by keyword, it's by uh, subject matter. And there's a lot of beautiful uh, wisdom teachings in here. I uh, put it over here because I have the a treasury of traditional wisdom. And this is uh, new science. This in in this in this part right here is is more like new science, consciousness, science of the mind, new paradigm stuff. So I have a new earth. This is methods and exercises, formulas and prayers of, a, you know, a, a kind of new philosophy, new science of, of being. Eye to Eye by Ken Wilber. This is a book that is, is actually a quest for a new paradigm. Space, Time, and Medicine. Paradigm Wars. This is worldviews for a new age, and it puts uh, different, different worldviews up against each other and explores the validity of each. The Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. This is a big proponent of um, mind over matter. That mind is 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 the is the fundamental reality of of which we have to work with, and we have to. Uh, it is basically mind science. We have to understand that our beliefs make our life what it what it is. Cosmos and the Psyche. Another. Imitations of a new world view. This is another, you know, trying to bring my, the 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 understanding that mind is more of a ground of reality than the physical what we see. Journey of Metaphysics, Healing in the Mind, Bill Moyers. I I didn't I didn't get through that one. Um, I got it because it, it looked interesting. Uh, Consciousness, Energy, and Future Science, Dreaming the Future by Clifford A. Pickover. Now. Uh, this is a, a story that, that goes through um, re prediction, whether that be through some kind of outward means like the tarot or, you know, gazing, uh, mirror gazing, crystal, crystal gazing and stuff like that to, to kind of put yourself in a meditative state. And then kind of, and, 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 and whether or not, you know, the future can be beheld and, and uh, another by Clifford A. Pickover, Time, A Traveler's Guide. This, this book will blow your mind. It's all about time and how, how, we, how we move through time. There's a lot of about time that we don't you know, usually understand. Consilience, A uni Unity of Knowledge. This is another you know, new paradigm, new future science. The Future of the Body by Michael Murphy. This is... Uh, Explorations into the Further Evolution of Human Nature. This is a wonderful work that will uh, definitely give you a lot of food for thought. History of the Future. This is a work that, uh, that is kind of the future told from, a, from of the perspective of, of having gone through it in a timeline perspective. I have Nothingness up here. This is the Science of Empty Space. This actually does... Um, coincide with a lot of Zen and, and, and that religion and nothingness, that philosophical work here. This is not as philosophical. Uh, things are more accessible in here as in that work, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful read. Breaking Open the Head by Daniel Pinchbeck. This, 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 this book is exactly what it sounds like. You know, it's, it's there to break, to break free of paradigms that you might be stuck in that, that don't have a lot of uh, real validity in, in the world. The Eye of the Eye, David Hawkins. I've gotten into a little bit of David Hawkins. He's very intellectual. 
hard to uh, hard to really just read through, but it's it's wonderful work. Golden Thread of Oneness, Diamond Heart Book One, Elixir of Enlightenment and Essence. This is an author named A. H. Alamus. Now, a very Buddhist in his foundation, but bringing out a new science. The diamond approach to inner realization. Now that that harkens to the Diamond Sutra, and um, it is really uh, the, all of his little short works there are very very uh, powerful. Opening the doors of perception. A little uh, harkening to William Blake. This is called uh, the key to cosmic awareness. So this is a more uh, you know cosmic consciousness. I have a book here. I have not worked through this one, Creative Evolution. This is uh, kind of a book that calls into question uh, the Darwinian uh, theory of evolution. That, that, that there is actually, that entropy, uh, you know, is, is not exactly what we, what, we, what, we, what we think that it is usually. The Origins of Creativity, Edward uh, Wilson, and The Tao of Physics by Capra. That's a that's a great work. Um, I love I love future science. It gives you a lot to uh, a lot to think about when you think about where we might be as a society in the years to come, and in, in even even the centuries to come. Some and uh, I hope you bear with me. I'm I'm just moving my camera so that we can get down to the bottom shelf there. And and this is more you're gonna see. Um, Esoterica. On the side here, I have uh, Crowley's works. The um, <laughs> my I just picked this up regarding the Tree of Life. I, it has found its way down here. I'm always uh, happy and surprised to see how books find their way around. You know, some some books will sit in a to be read stack and not find their place for for a long time, and then some books. Just, you know, they, they, they go right in there in the pocket where, you know, they're around their, around their brothers. So here's uh, my, my Aleister Crowley, you know, so, uh, books. I have some um, Dr. A.S. Raleigh. This is the stanzas of Theogenesis that he put out. A, gre a great old work. Um, some Blavatsky. This is uh, the book of Design. Design. Um, it's very, uh, very, a uh, very, um, uh, uh, it's hard, 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 hard to, hard to grasp. Um, she, she had, she had her own thing going on there. Uh, Portable Darkness. This is a Aleister Crowley reader snippets from different books and just a way to work into his work. Um, make it, make it a little more easy to work into. And then I have his seven, seven, seven. This is his book of the law. This is a book that, uh, I saw that um, Byways and Booklands had had just a manuscript for. Awesome, awesome, brother, that you, uh, that you were able to find that and get it. I have a book on dramatic ritual in, in Crowley's system. Now, he set up his own, uh, you know, later in his life, set up his own uh, religious spiritual system called Thelema. So this is uh, about dramatic ritual he used the mass he used different dramatic rituals that were um, used in all kinds of uh, you know things like the golden dawn and and things that, that, that and and why 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 are they essential why why do they uh, keep coming up so that's a that's a, a cool little book I'm not a big fan of Lon Milo Duquette he's done a lot of work on Aleister Crowley's stuff and he did a commentary on the book of Thoth which is the uh, tarot pack that uh, Crowley put out. I'm not really a big fan, but there is some, there is, there is a, a good amount of uh, perceptive things in there. Book four by Aleister Crowley. Book four and Magic Without Tears is, uh, is, is just where you want to be if you want to um, understand what, or just, just kind of work into Crowley. Figments of Reality, this book is really, really, really interesting. It is like a mathematical perspective of the world. 
Writing the Mind Alive, that is a creative work. I don't know how it found its way down here. It is a, it is a, it is a, an approach to creativity in writing. It's very, very awesome. Literature and Spirituality, this is a survey of um, literature, uh, spiritual literature. C.S. Lewis is in here. James or Henry James, Flannery O'Connor has a has a, has a, has a story in here. Um, you know Gwendolyn Brooks. Uh, there there's just and there's essays on some of this stuff as well. Uh, the, the, as you can see, I mean, there's just so much. Even going to like Sylvia Plath, there's a copy of the drama of Every Man in there. Um, Jew, Jewish works, Man of All Seasons, uh, going going over some of some movies, T. S. Eliot, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, just this is just an awesome, an awesome survey of spiritual literature. Uh, I would I would be willing to touch on any of this, any of that kind of stuff if you're just interested in, uh, mo you know uh, how how we see. That, that spirituality has been fundamental in, in, most, in most, most people who are regarded as literature uh, giants. You, know? they, you, you can't get away from our condition. And we are humans and uh, we're not just you know, meat suits. We're not just here to you know, see what we can do and then go back to the, back to the, to the dirt. But if it's not like that, then what is it? You know, and that, so so there's always that that question, and there's always a way to uh, approach it. Willpower. This was given to me by a friend a few years back. It's it's all a uh, a, a a study of willpower and and how to manage it. Uh, rediscovering the greatest human strength. Our 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 sense of willpower. Now that is comes down to our choice, which is actually our greatest human. Uh, strength is our ability to make choices. You know, we're not instinctive creatures, although we do have instinctive uh, motivations. But we do have a choice. You know, you can you can choose uh, what what the way it is that you're going to handle yourself, or whether or not you're going to eat. You know, like the whole gamut. You have you have your choice. Corpse. This is a a forensic. Uh, Book, a book on forensics that that was really really interesting nature forensics and the struggle to pinpoint the time of death that was really uh, an interesting read as you can see there's a little bit of a hodgepodge down here on the bottom um, these three the secret science the stellar man and the science of love is John Baines now John Baines is a pseudonym this guy that wrote this has started a hermetic school in New York. Um, it's, it's, this is wonderful stuff. The Secret Science, The Stellar Man, and The Science of Love. Modern Hermeticism. If you're interested, we'll go through them. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ramble on them a bit. It is really, really interesting. Thomas Troward. This is a collection of Thomas Troward works. Uh, six classic works on the power of the mind. In one volume right here. Um, he did, he, the Edinburgh Lectures on Mental Science. The Dore lectures on mental science. Just read, just, just, just look them up on YouTube if you don't have any experience with them. They're, they're there. You can listen to them. Um, my favorite is probably Bible Mystery and Bible Meaning that he put out. Um, it, it, it is a very esoteric look at the, at the first five books of Moses, and and actually all Old Testament. So creative process in the individual by Thomas Troward is right here too. This is this is a wonderful. A book, and it's it's just it's just what the kind of vein that we're in, where um, your 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 desire and your wanting something is 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 essential for what 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 you can project is going to happen to you and what you're going to do in your life. Uh, do you, do you want something? Do you go after what you want? Mind games. I haven't I haven't got through this. This is something I picked up at the at, at a Goodwill um, a long a, a while back. You know, maybe maybe a year ago. Uh, Mind Games: The Guide to Inner Space, and uh, there is just 
a lot of uh, interesting stuff when I've thumbed through it and read, um, but I have not worked completely through it. There is, uh, you know, some, some, some quotes on there from like Joseph Campbell and the like. Robert Anton Wilson's The Cosmic Trigger. Now this is probably my favorite Robert Anton Wilson. I love it. It's, it's so wild and fun. So, Cosmic Trigger, uh, the final secret of the Illuminati. It is said, uh, it is very good. So, um, White Light by uh, Rucker. That, that, is a, that is a trip. A total trip. It's fiction, but it is uh, absurdist spiritual fiction. And the same thing with the Televisionary Oracle. Rob Brzezinski, you know, this kind of stuff is like 60s, you know, 60s wild spirituality run amok. Um, this is the same kind of tradition that the uh, Prince of Discordia had come out of. Ba Bahá'u'lláh, now this is a guy that started the Bahá'í Faith. I'm, I'm not very familiar, but I got this at the, at the, at the, um, at the Goodwill as well, so I have I have some Baha'i literature on my phone, and so I had just gone ahead and picked that up to have some physical something physical to thumb for sight and sensibility, the uh, eco psychology of perception. So this is all about perception yeah. and and perceiving Sci science of time and self. This is Three Mysteries of the Universe, High History of the Holy Grail, Dad. Wisdom of the Mystic Masters, and uh, some Esoteric Booz Buddhism by Rudolf Steiner. Sorry about that. Um, just give me one second. Let me, uh, let me just make sure that, we're, that you can see exactly where we're at, because we're just about at the end of the shelf here. The Wisdom of the Mystic Masters, this is old, 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 old writings of uh, mystical quality. It's a, it's a great book. Joseph J. Weed, you know, I, uh, a last, uh, he was a lifelong student of esoteric psychology. Now he, uh, back in the 30s and 40s is when he was lecturing on mystic, mystic experience. We have Esoteric Buddhism. Now, uh, this is a very... Uh, you know, the guy, the guy that did this way back in the day, this is an old work, maybe the 20s, 1920s. You know, he, he didn't have a great grasp of what Buddhism was really all about. But it's interesting to see how, how things came to. Uh, Alice Bailey, another theosophical, you know, uh, uh, in the vein of Blavatsky. I love Alice Bailey. Glamour, a world problem. We have The Meaning and the End of Religion, Meditations on Meister Eckhart. Uh, Sophia, and then um, a, a, a landmark work, Mysticism by Evelyn Underhill. So just a uh, an exploration of mysticism. So um, I hope you enjoyed this bookshelf, guys. We got through it. Anything that you saw that you want more, more talk on or more um, want to hear more ideas of, just, you know, give me a shout. And, uh, and, 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 we'll, and we'll see about doing some reviews and just going through some of these books and rambling. Thank you so much. Uh, bye, BookTube.